Welcome back to Universe. I'm Andrew, and in this video, I'm going to try to scan a Soul Forge Fusion deck and bring it into Tabletop Simulator as quickly as possible. I haven't done this before, so we'll see together how long it takes or how complicated it is and if it works. So I will note that this is before the game comes out. I got an early deck at Gamma, so uh, they still have time to clean things up. If they don't work perfectly for this video, they might work better and smoother when you get around to scanning your uh, either your Kickstarter rewards or your production run decks. But here I've got a uh, purple deck, a Necrium, Circe deck in some sleeves. And I've got the whole deck here, but I'm really just going to need the Forgeborn card with the uh, code on the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my phone and let's scan that QR code. And this is all up to my phone. There we go. So I scanned it and now you can see the URL popped up oh, or disappeared, but uh, URL popped up. So that'll just depend on your device. But now I can tap it and it'll take me directly to the page where I can view the deck. So this is something that you'll do all the time when you play Soulforge. You'll be scanning your opponent's decks to see their lists and you'll have quick access to their lists. So that came, that's what came up immediately when I click the link. You can see it says owner Andrew Wilson because I've already claimed it. So otherwise there would be a claim button. So if you are going to play with anybody, you're going to want to be able to let them scan your deck. So make sure to claim them before you share them on uh, webcam games or in public or anything else. Uh, just scan your decks. Good practice so they don't get claimed by somebody else. But now what I actually want to do is open this on my computer. So I need to I switch here to my browser and I've already opened the website. And I assume there will be a quicker link. But right now I need to get from my phone to my browser. Let's what if I do soulforgefusion.com slash decks let's see if that will work and i can just log in all right so i'm logged in and now i should be able to see my collection you can see my decks and that will show me not only the one i just showed you but the other three that came in my starter kit so that is that process the simple process of claiming decks and then checking them out but now let's see if we can get a tabletop simulator. So this download link supposedly is what will do it. So I'm going to download it. Uh, I'm going to cancel that just because I want to show you. I went ahead and Googled tabletop simulator save objects folder because this is what I'm going to need it. Uh, it goes in your documents, my games, tabletop simulator slash saves folder. So that's where I want to save it. And I'm actually going to save it within the saved objects folder itself. And hopefully that is going to let it show up when I go to load into Tabletop Simulator. So now I have downloaded that file and we can switch to Tabletop Simulator. So I'm going to click on create a new game. So if depending on how you're playing or you're going to be playing against somebody else, you might do a different process here. So you will need some Tabletop Simulator knowledge, but I'm going to make a single player game. I'm going to go to, oh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself because Another thing you need to do is go to the Steam Workshop. So I'm going to go to Tabletop Simulator Steam Workshop. And you need to do this as well. If you haven't used Tabletop Simulator before, you need to find Soulforge Fusion and make sure you are subscribed. So here I'm already subscribed. So for me, um, into this DLC section on Tabletop Simulator, or rather the Workshop section, you'll be able to find Soulforge Fusion and load that. And now I can go to Objects, Saved Objects, and this is my deck that I had scanned and downloaded and put into that specific folder, and thus it's showing up here. If I click that, I can click, and yeah, there we go. That's my first time loading it in. Oh, I like to do 90 here. Oh, so I can tap with one click. And that is my deck. Let's see. That is Cersei. Same set of abilities. I wonder if I flip her, if they show, they even show the deck. Even that side looks the same minus the QR code. Yep, that's my deck list. And uh, yeah, these are my cards. I got a Drath's Will, Scourge Hydra, Necrotic Fiend. Let's get some good hits. Oh, this guy's good. 
hematophagic creeper is good. Oh, it's automatically scripting stuff is happening here, but um, I'm just, yeah, that's pretty cool. Just seeing all my cards showing up because there are 15, over 15,000 cards in the base set and every deck is unique and procedurally generated. So it's very cool to see my specific list show up. Of course, if you want to play, you're going to need to do that for two of your decks, import both of them and combine them in the Soulforge Fusion manner. Anyway, hopefully that is a good walkthrough for how you can get your decks into Tabletop Simulator. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so we can get more subscribers, and bye.